Welcome back traders and today we're going to be going into Master Premier Classic using Charizard, Empoleon, and Heracross. I had a blast. I'm going to have to tell you, I had the most fun in Go Battle League in a long time. All right, there was minimal lag. It happened once in a while, but with that aside, it, I had a, a good time. The battles were just awesome. Winning with this team feels very nice. Feels like you accomplished something. So let's take a look. They all performed amazing. Charizard specifically just put in the ding work. Awesome, really did good. So it's not gonna be 100% IV. So it is like that, but it's okay. It does have Blast Burn. We're good to go. Take a look at the IVs here. None of these Pokemon are gonna be 100%. So let's see what we have going on here. We'll just talk about it as we go. That's pretty much it. I just wanna see what's going on with these battles because it was a good time. I feel like it kind of confused a lot of people. Maybe not, didn't confuse them, but this team comp was just a little weird. Something that we're not used to seeing. A Heracross, Empoleon, and a Charizard together? Yeah, all right. So the Empoleon really did wall a lot of things. It, it really did help me out quite a bit. Heracross is a good lead. We're going to be swapping it up and always pay attention to what I do have in the back. So you can see what happens. It's incredible. It's incredible. Okay, so we do shield up this Hydro Cannon simply because we want to put on the pressure. It was our last shield, but that's just the way this battle is going to have to work out here. So we're going to be getting the last shield on them and immediately swapping into Heracross. They're going to be bringing in that Metagross here and Charizard is just waiting in the back like, okay, is it my time? Absolutely, buddy. Let's get it. Good old shiny Charizard. Best buddy. Get in there. So uh, if they have Psychic, that's not going to be great. Let's see what it is. Meteor Mash. Fantastic. Farming them down. We got energy ready to go. And we're going to go ahead and just throw that Dragon Claw immediately onto the Swampert that does not have much health left. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? That's okay. It's not over yet. Go and pull on. And we have it. All right. That was a close one. So we did not actually have it equipped as our buddy. Now we will. Whoops. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get into this. So uh, don't think I lead Charizard at all actually we lead in Polion and heracross so we're met with a garchomp we got the uh, the charizard in the back okay sounds good to me now you could go mega horn but i like rock blast because it's going to be able to help you out with those flyers as well as the ice i mean <laughs> you got the counter right i mean i was thinking wall raid but i don't see one until you guess it until i put the Empoleon in the back it's, or in the front in the front and i have the heracross in the back it's like come on <laughs> so i was seeing this occurring quite a bit today where people would swap into my Empoleon and it was just it still wasn't a good matchup I feel like that was their best answer like I said I feel like they were not expecting Empoleon to show up here so it was just great and I, you know what I was just thinking to myself I, I want to go beyond spicy I, I want to go I want to go sp spice lord and that's what we did it's beyond king we, we went into the next level of spice though that's what we're doing I know it's not completely, we got some meta going on here, but just the whole way I put this team together. Look at that. Look at that. Heracross is holding it down. Let's go. All right, moving on to our next battle. Make sure you do give this video a thumbs up. If you do enjoy my content, really do appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new. Put your notifications on so you don't miss any of my videos here. And we're met with a Gyarados. So I was seeing this quite a bit. Now, you're going to see the majority of these battles are bad leads. They are bad leads, which is just going to make it for a better video so we can see how we're going to be able to work around the situation. So we do swap into our Empoleon to catch, and they're bringing in a Snorlax to combat this here. Now, we do have to look out for superpower, but if they do bait us, that's going to be bad. So we're just going to let it go. Now, at this point, I don't think they're going to, there's no need for a superpower. They're just going to be able to maybe even farm us down if that's what they want to do. Let's see. I don't think they really have the... Uh, yep, they're going to have to throw. Otherwise, our... Waterfall is going to be able to take them out. Such a good quick move. All right, down we go. Still two shields. We're obviously going to go in. Well, I wanted to go in with Charizard and farm, but I figured let's just go with the Heracross. We don't want to kind of reveal it yet. Plus, we would have to see this Waterfall the Gyarados here. So it's better to just gear up for the Rock Blast to get that shield from them. We still have two left. And I figured as soon as we take this Waterfall user out, we should be good to go in the back. So we are going to kind of just, you know, hold it down until the bitter end here. We need to swap immediately if they do not shield this. Or I think, yeah, we're swapping anyways. We know they're going to get to a charge move, but it doesn't matter because we're going to start building up energy too. And what do you have in the back? It is a Metagross, no shields. Exactly. We're going to go for the Blast Burn. And this happened quite a bit today. Charizard, it was so satisfying. And then we take them out. Okay. 
Let's go. Now you have to look out for those Excadrills for sure. They're going to be able to spam you with the Rock Slide, but you're going to be hitting them very hard as well with that Charizard. Next battle, we're met with a, what do you know, another Gyarados. All right, so this is why I like the Rock Blast. I suppose you can go with the Mega Horn, but that's going to leave you without any sort of bait move or anything for coverage. So we're going to do the catch again. <laughs> we're just catching all day, and that's not the only catch. We're going to be seeing some more, some clutch wins here. So they're going to be bringing in Metagross, like we described in the beginning of the video, if I can speak correctly here. We are going to see them swapping into our Empoleon with things that are just going to simply get countered by it because that's just the answer that they have because there's something else in the back that's also weak to Empoleon, which is perfect because this whole team kind of just walls steals to some degree, right? We got the Charizard, the Empoleon, the Heracross. So it's going to be good for those double steel people out there running a Metacross and Excadrill. That's what you're going to usually see because there's no mythicals or legendaries here. All right, bringing back the Heracross. I don't remember if I shield this up. We're going to let it go. We need to hold on to that shield. Getting to the Rock Blast. And let's see if they want to let it go. They do. What's in the back? An Excadrill. Exactly. Now, this does get a little tricky here because that thing can get to two Rock Slides fairly, fairly fast. So you got to make sure you swap in there as fast as you can before they get a leg up on energy. But we have to remember, too, that we do have the Heracross in the back, which is resisting ground. And it's doing an extreme amount of damage with Counter. So even if it has that little bit of health, take a look. One, two, and three, we take the win. Like to see it. Let's go. Like I said, I had a blast today. As you can tell, I'm in a great mood because, you know, I was getting a little upset. I was like, oh, hard counter again. Are you serious? Can I get a good lead? <laughs> I get so tilted. Uh, but it turned out to be good. And these bad leads are just even better content for you guys to take a look at let's get into the next battle met with a metagross like i said this entire team is going to be able to kind of do a lot of damage to that metagross over there so we're looking good we're going to build up to two close combats because we can outpace them here so oh they're catching this is that one man that that was a good dang catch i mean that was such a random time it's so annoying when you throw it the most random times i guess we were almost to two close combats but my gosh i feel at this point it's almost like muscle memory I feel like the majority of people are not counting, not to discredit anybody, it doesn't really matter because I personally do this as well, but we're not really counting. We're, we just got this muscle memory. We just remembered how long it takes for them to get to a specific charge move two times or whatever the case. Anyways, we have all this energy on our Empoleon here. They're bringing in a Snorlax, okay? So our Heracross is still alive. It's going to be able to put in plenty of work. And I think they actually do try to lick me down. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, and down we go. All right, so we're obviously going to go with the Heracross here, and they're going to go with the Body Slam and their Shadow, so they're going to be doing quite a bit of damage. We're going to shield it up, expecting them to get to another one here soon, and we're able to get to it, though. That's incredible. Thank you, Heracross. Love this thing. Called it uh, Kabuterimon. If you don't know what that is, it's actually a Digimon. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go Rock Blast to bait them here. Come on, come on, please. All right, so we're going to swap immediately, and we take them out. Okay. <laughs> Oh boy, sniping is fun. Next battle, what are we going to see? Dragonite. Now this, oh boy, was really... Mm -mm -mm. You have no idea how upsetting. Uh -huh. Over and over and over and over again. All right, so we're going to go with the Rock Blast. This is, again, why we have it. You know, it's not doing the most damage, but hey, I'll take it. That's good, right? We're swapping into our Napoleon. They're going to go straight for a Hurricane. Sounds good to me. They're swapping, see, again with the Metagross. See, this is probably a Dragonite double steal. Are you going to start seeing people running around this team? Now, look, when I say people ripping me off, look, folks, I'm not talking about all of you. You are all amazing. Please use my team to the fullest extent, to the maximum extent, to what you got to do and enjoy it. I've, obviously, that's why I make these videos, right? It's what I'm talking about is these other content creators who rip me off without giving me credit. But yet again, they lick all these people's boots simply for the minutest copy of their team. So there you go. That's why I get so annoyed by that. But if you're thinking uh, that I'm upset that you're using it, that, that I would actually be crazy. I would actually be crazy. <laughs> Next battle here. Or not, same battle. Now I'm trying to, I think I'm going a little crazy. All right. So we're going to go ahead and go Dragon Claw, get the shield. All right. Beautiful. And uh, this is that thing I was talking about. Now, this is bananas. Watch this. We have a Dragon Claw, but this... Oh, okay, never mind. 
not the battle I was thinking of. There's a battle where they get to two rock slides and then they're able to get two in a row. But why? Oh, look at that. That was our win con. Did you see that? <laughs> they're so bad. Or maybe they're just like, wow, that was good. It's either that or <laughs> anger. <laughs> And we're getting to the Dragon Claw up against the Dragonite. Folks, today was so cool. Let's go. Today was so good. Oh my goodness. I love it. Let's go. This is what Go Battle League is about. Having fun with different Pokemon outside of the norm. Well, at least that's what it's always been for me. And we're met with a Garchomp. This is... You know, it's not the worst. Yeah, you know, that Outrage. That's a real killer, unfortunately. And at that point, it's, like, it's not a deal breaker, but... Not good. Now, what I could have done is stayed. I, they let the close combat go, and since we were resisting the ground moves, I mean, I don't know why we retreated. I'm just putting myself in a horrible position here now. But they're swapping into Gyarados. I suppose it's not the worst counter. It could be a fighter. But uh, this Dragon Breath deal, I mean, Dragon Breath is just ridiculous. Even with that stab here, it got some beautiful lag. Look at my energy. Watch this. Look at this. Look at that. Woof! Just charging right up there. Now, obviously, it's because we're tapping. Now, just a little word of advice. If you just saw what happened, like we've discussed in the past, don't stop tapping. Keep tapping when it's lagging because it's going to probably putter and catch up later down the line. And if you're not tapping well, and you're thinking, oh, I'll just leave it alone while it's lagging. No, keep on going because your opponent's going to have a lot of energy up against you because Go Battle League is just a little busted at times. At times, I say. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to shield that up. Come on, Charizard, old buddy, old pal. Oh, this is good. Energy on the Charizard. Shield's down. Yeah, we're going for a Dragon Claw. And taking out the Garchomp, which you got. Oh, Sam Metagross. Okay. Oh, my gosh. This is what I'm talking about. Charizard Shiny. Putting in that work, best buddy. Let's go. I'm so... I'm in a good mood. I'm in a great mood. Let's get it. I'm going to I'm gonna call this team Star-Lord. I don't know, for whatever reason. <laughs> All right. So, actually, yeah, we'll call it that. So, we're met with another Dragonite. Here we go. And they swap. See? Exact. See? Every time we bring in Empoleon, for the most part, not every time, like 75% uh, of the time, we use it as a safe swap. They swap into something that we're just going to be able to counter it. But what they're doing right now, they're just using uh, the Togekiss as a buffer. Like, okay, go ahead and just take it out. And uh, now your Empoleon's low. Now I'll be able to handle you with the Dragonite. So outrage me. Okay, so yeah, now I'm actually in a weird position. That Dragonite has a good amount of health. Sure, they're down to shield, but Dragon Breath just eats my health alive. And unfortunately, I don't know. I only think that we're going to be able to get a shield here, hopefully. If they don't shield it up, I guess we're going to be doing good damage too. Okay, that works. Swapping, which... Oh, boy. So I think the only way that um, we're going to be looking really bad is if they do have Psychic. Uh, there's going to be one in here. I do believe I left a battle. So if you did battle me, you hit me with a Psychic. Don't worry, you're in here. All right, Meteor Mash. Okay, that's not it. Wait, or maybe you're not in here. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to see. So we're going to shield this up. I know it's getting a little crazy here, but watch what I have to do. Two Dragon Claws. Oh my gosh, this was such a clutch win again. With the Charizard 1 HP taking out the Dragonite with the Dragon Claw at the end. The perfect timing. Just precision here. Let's go. Love it. All right. <laughs> All right. Next battle. What are we going to see? Hey, Garchomp again. All right. That's Dragon Tail. Lovely. That's not good. So typically people with the Dragon Tail are going to have um, Sand Tomb. But <laughs> don't always count on it. All right. There's the Sand Tomb. But... Here's the thing. It's like, yeah, sure, we'll let it go. It's not going to do much damage. But now the Dragon Tails are just going to absolutely eliminate us. So we swap to try to take him out. We do successfully. I feel like that's great. The Heracross with that amount of health is going to be able to do quite a bit up against a, I don't know, Excadrill. All right. So we're going to go ahead and see a Metagross again. What do you think is in the back? What do you think, folks? You tell me. An Excadrill. That, that's why they're bringing out the Metagross. You love to see this. Hey, give this video a thumbs up, folks. Let's go. All right. <laughs> we don't even get to see what's in the back. We know what it is. We know what it is. All right, next battle. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. What are we going to see in Machamp? That's okay. I'll take that. Finally, we got something good and juicy. Again, though, you know, I, I don't want to sound complaining, but it's not the best in the world. Rockside's still going to do a lot. Shadow Machamp. They bait me here. <laughs> this guy. All right, so it's this battle. So we go for the Rock Blast. I'm like, got to shield it up. They're like, nah, I'm not... I don't care. 
<laughs> I'm not going to shield this up another bait. Okay, okay. Or at least we're going to be able to farm down. You know, come out of this with good energy. They got to have a counter. Okay, so it's a Togekiss. At this point, I'm still smiling. Like, I got two counters to that. <laughs> we're down a shield, but we're good to go. So I'm going to go in here with Empoleon because I don't want to get hit by an Ancient Power with Charizard. We're going to be able to let this all go. Now, as I say that, we're going to get hit by a flamethrower, and it's going to do quite a bit of damage. Because at the end of the day, we are still type even though we are water. Pokemon Go is uh, very punishing to those dual typings that have, could potentially have a resistance to what they're usually weak to, or resisting, potentially. Uh, but yeah, almost taking us out. We immediately swap as they do bring an Excadrill here. And um, that was so stupid of me. Of me. I threw way too early. What kind of a pff, season one tactic was that i mean anybody would know that was a dragon claw and not shield it up so great and uh there there's a, that's what i'm talking about they had it and we were able to not hit our charge move but they're able to hit rock slide two times in a row kick out of here with that bs man this game good game though good game next battle horrible lead lovely okay their own heracross there's oh, oh. <laughs> we bring in heracross they swap into excadrill oh boy yeah i love to see this too so we go for Rock Blast. Unfortunately, they don't even shield it. So it's like, damn, I could have just farmed you all the way down. Lovely. So they go for Drill Run. Okay, sounds good to me. And they're getting to another one. I think I shield. Letting it go. Oh my goodness, and calling it. Wow, that's uh, that's some brave, uh, some brave stuff there. So we're going to go ahead and go for the Rock Blast. Figuring they're going to come back in here with the uh, Heracross. And... I don't know, maybe close combat would have been a better call, but whatever, it doesn't really matter now. Going in here with Charizard, now we have to look out for Rock Blast. <laughs> I'm not bringing in Empoleon quite yet, don't worry, but we are. Going to go for the Dragon Claw here to get that shield out of them. All right, they want to keep that thing alive. First shield use, swapping. Can we catch a Rock Blast if we did success? Oh my gosh, let's get it. They're staying here because something in the pack is weak to it. What is it going to be? A Gyarados. Okay, uh, it's not necessarily weak to it. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I, I figured they would stay with the Heracross, do some more counter damage. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. All right, so what do we do here? This is getting a little wacky. Charizard doesn't want to see that. Uh, we can survive an Aqua Tail, right? Maybe. But with that Waterfall damage, it's not looking too good. So we swap right here because I figure this is it. I'm going to have to get to a Dragon Claw or lose. I have to. Oh, my gosh, we got there. What's wrong with me? Come on. Okay. Oh my gosh, we got a second chance at this. So we're going to get it to the drill pack and take them out. Are you kidding me? I am, I almost got so tilted. I had the dang charge move. Next battle, what are we going to see? Gyarados, the Empoleon lead. Uh, actually, this is where I would want to see it. <coughs> at the end of the day, yeah. We don't want to really go up against it with the Heracross or the Charizard, so this is perfect. Okay, still not the most comfortable battle. But then again, that's just going down territory of just like, what are you talking about? This is great. So we're continuing on. Unfortunately, I screwed up. And at this point, I'm thinking, okay, if they shield, we're in big trouble. They let it go. Okay, now this, <laughs> I have to say, nothing against this trainer. It was just one of those battles where everything you needed to happen, happened for the better. So uh, the first thing is, I just didn't want them to shield. They let it go. Okay, so I'm thinking, all right, we still got a shot at this. They come in here with Togekiss. I'm like, okay. If they shield this up, it could be bad because Charizard in the Master League is still not the best. It's squishy. If you shield this, oh, okay, we needed them to let that go. So they're just letting it all go. But you're going to see the redemption. Watch what happens here after their ancient power. They get the stinking boost. So I already knew they were going to shield it up. So I go for the Dragon Claw. I don't, they, yeah, they're going to, yep. They want to keep that thing alive with the boost for a minute since they got two shields getting to another Dragon Claw. And uh, let's see how it works. They let it go. And we swap. Beautiful. Okay, it was rock RPS all day. Uh, well, no, not necessarily. Kind of. Not in the back, not in the front, but in the back, yeah. So, yeah, everything kind of worked out perfectly here. We'll shield this up, and we're not gonna throw any. I think I actually do throw here, which uh, don't do that. I've already told everybody how to, that works. If you're in a situation where you, just, yeah, exactly, one more counter. I could have taken it out that fast, and we just wasted time. All right, next battle, Excadrill, finally. Now, this is a good matchup, I guess. Kind of bad, too. It could be if they're brave enough to stay. You'll have to shield. But they're swapping into Dragonite. Again, there's not a solid answer here. All right, I haven't really seen, like, a solid swap in. So, this is good. So, Empoleon, Charizard, and Heracross. Let's let it be known. All right. So, we're going to see a Dragon Claw out of them. It's all right. We shield it up just because we want to kind of maintain that health here. That Dragon Breath is really eating into us. 
getting a shield out of them, perfect. That's that's all we kind of really wanted at this point here. So eh, let this go. I don't. Yeah, her. Oh, using all that energy sounds good to me. Uh, pff, I feel like we can go in here with Charizard and farm down with uh, Fire Spin at this point. Maybe. Ah, uh, not quite, unfortunately. Dragon Claw is all we're gonna see here. We'll let it go. Getting a little risky with that Charizard. Oh my. What? Oh my gosh, this was a no- Oh, we get redemption though, watch what happens. They're trying to get to two charge moves, but we take them out before it happens! In comes Garchomp! Uh, oh no, the never- yeah, never mind. This is a really wacky battle. I made mistakes, it happens, but uh, we'll play it out to the end here to see what happens. We get a shield, great. So, oh my goodness. Oh, one more quick move. That's all we need. They're going to go Sand Tomb. Dragon Tail is going to take us out. We just need a one more freaking counter. Oh, we had it. It just went down. Good game. Good game. Got to love it. Next battle, what are we going to see? All right. Gyarados. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's go. All right. So it does have Waterfall. And, you know, <laughs> between Waterfall and Dragon Breath, it's like they're almost doing the same amount of damage to me, even though we resist it. But uh, Gyarados is a little bit squishier. So, yeah. Like we said, you know, this is where we want to see it anyways, especially if it has Waterfall. So, yeah, uh, Charizard doesn't want anything to do with that. Going to go for another Drill Peg, you know, the same old song and dance. We've used a shield. They haven't. We'll let this go. We are not using two shields right now. There is no need for that. We'll probably just lose. They go for Outrage and we still... Oh, we don't take the win. Double KO. So they actually bring in their Pokemon first and I'm like, oh my gosh, I went with Charizard. No, are you kidding me? So I'm trying to swap. Finally lets me swap and... Uh, we're going to let this go because we can survive the charge moves, no problem. Yeah, no problem at all. What you got in the back? Metagross. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, this is actually really good. Man, I had such an adrenaline rush today, folks, playing these games. It, it, like, I have a newfounded love for this. This is, like, actually what I felt before. <laughs> Let's get it. All right, so we're going to take a Meteor Mash to the face. Charizard said, yeah. And... So we're going to go for the Blast Burn, take out that Metagross. In comes Excadrill, and we farm this thing down to Funky Town. Fantastic. Let's go. All right, next battle. What are we leading with? A uh, Heracross. Okay, perfect. Okay. Now, technically, you know, Charizard doesn't really want to see him a champ because that the whole bait, Rock Slide, it'll one-shot you. So Heracross is my best matchup with it, obviously. So we're swap where they're swapping into Metagross, we're bringing in Charizard, letting the Meteor Mash go, building up to uh, not quite two Blast Burns, but let's see. I don't think they're gonna want to shield this up. Yeah. Um, oh, they cut. Oh, it's this one. So yeah, don't don't go Blast Burn here. You just go Dragon Claw because it is actually pretty resisted because of the uh, typing of uh, Rhyperior. So Dragon Claw is what it is right now. That Mud Slap is. Whew, we're flying. I know part fire as well but man it's doing a lot of damage and our empoleon is also weak to it but the um riperior is uh, four times weak to water so we're letting this go and it's just a rock wrecker they swap into machamp immediately we're going to go ahead and bring in our heracross here and we're like almost missing bubbles they shield it up fantastic that was uh not very effective but they didn't know that you know we're not going to go for a close combat they've got no shields left and they get to another charge all right we obviously have to shield this up yeah even if it's a bait well, I mean, I'm not playing around if it's not. So we're building up extra energy here. Going to go for the uh, Rock Blast. And it is enough to take him out. In comes Rhyperior. And we're getting a close combat and taking the win with Heracross at the end. All right. We still have Napoleon back there, too. Uh, look at this. Isn't this fun? <laughs> uh, let's go. Next. Oh, all right. Good lead. Excadrill with Heracross. That's like what you want to see. Like, you know, even more so than a Snorlax, probably. All right, so because Excadrill is so squishy and you resist the uh, ground move. So we're taking him out with counter, not even throwing a charge move. In comes Metagross and we're throwing close combats because we have two Pokemon to counter that in the back. And as soon as we get these off, we're swapping. Now I could have potentially just, I guess I could have just swapped at this point and held on to the close combat for a later time. But since we got both shields, I think that's really good. And their safe swap is going to be Snorlax. Well, after their first Pokemon's down here. So let's see what happens. Going to go Blast Burn, of course, because their shields are down. There's you know, obvious reasons here. Do we need to keep Charizard alive? We do not. We have Empoleon, which can handle the Metagross. But we have to remember that the Metagross has energy and it can also one-shot Empoleon with Earthquake. So it's not like all good and dandy yet. But we are, I mean, being realistic, it's obviously that we're going to probably win this. But let's see how it works. Going to go in here with the Heracross and farm up a bit. But they're going to immediately swap. We bring in Empoleon. And I don't care if they're baiting me. I'll shield two um, 
Meteor Mashes. They go straight Earthquake. Yep, okay. I mean, you know, the, you gotta try to bait. Or, I mean, you gotta try to go for the big one if they have two shields to make them think you're gonna bait, right, or something. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and take care, trainers.